Hello, this is Kathleen Wiesis at Michigan State University's Map Library. And uh, this video is going to demonstrate how to pull up subdivision plats from the state of Michigan's government website that has that. What you see right here is the original plat of the village of Hillsdale, Michigan, which was uh, drawn in 1839. And you can see how it marks out all the properties and it shows the extent of the limits of the village back when that happened. So the state of Michigan um, has copies of all these things. You can tell it's not a scan of, a, of an original. It looks like a scan of a microfilm version of the original maybe. But they have uh, not just the original plats but they have uh, every subdivision and housing development plat that was um, drawn after. And so these are available um, at the Michigan.gov website for licensing and regulatory affairs. They used to be at a different uh, website. It was an older website where you had to uh, just kind of became out of date and you weren't able to use it anymore unless you were using Internet Explorer. So uh, now it's here and the interface is a little bit complicated and so we're going to go through this and figure out how to do it. I found this just by uh, doing a Google search, Lara Subdivision Michigan. I was able to find this website and now I'm going to go to this link right here. They can be searched online. And now I'm going to click over here, OLSR, which I don't even know what that stands for, but I know to click there. And we are going to search for records. One thing I've learned about these plat records is that the start date and end date is not a useful way to search. If you're looking for a plat that was drawn in the 1830s or the 1880s or the 1950s, uh, these dates will not help you narrow down. It seems to be maybe the date that they were uploaded to the LARA website, which was of course all very recently within the last year or so, and uh, so you just have to skip right by the date search and move down to search additional criteria. Record type is plat records. And now search additional criteria. We're interested in a, you have to choose a county. Maybe you don't have to choose a county. I just always have, because I'm generally interested in a neighborhood subdivision or plat of a specific city. Uh, if you leave that blank, I wonder if everything would come up. Subdivision name, this is something you might not know. And so, um, actually, I want the original town plat for Jonesville, so I'm going to type in Jonesville. But if I didn't know its name, I could search by section number, township, and range number. If you're familiar with the public land survey system, this helps you narrow it down to uh, a six mile by six mile square township. And then the section number is the square mile inside of the township. Uh, I'm just going to go with this. And I get eight results. And so here's Jonesville Village of, and then here's some various later uh, plats that were made afterwards. Here's another Jonesville Village of, and I've noticed sometimes that you see duplicate entries. Replat, supervisor, da da da. So I'm going to choose this one, although I'm curious to see what this one is also because their name is the same. So I'm going to click there. And here's the next trick. You're like, where's my file? If you click under record info and choose attachments now, here is the graphic file. And it's not a kind of graphic that can open up in a web browser. You have to download it and open it in something else. And here I have opened it in Photoshop. But um, like Windows Paint would work, other uh, software that's able to handle graphics. So here's the original plat of Jonesville, 1830. If you wanted to see what the extent of the original village was, looks like it was quite small. Chicago Street, how about that? And now I'm curious to see what that other one is. I hit the back button. Shoot, now I forgot which one I chose first. I probably chose the first one first. I'll choose this one now. And 
and record info and attachments and TIFF. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like a duplicate of the other. And uh, there you have it. Good luck.